58 percent your other product line my understanding and educate me some more as always that on the 58 percent side that's more for product that might be going towards extraction and uh, being used in other forms other than 62 percent is a better relative humidity for kind of flower uh, top quality flower that's being sold to smoke as is is that the is that a correct interpretation of 58 versus 62 in terms of the two RHs that we can get from Boveda? Yeah, sort of. So, I mean, the biggest reason that we initially developed a 58 was really a personal preference. We had some folks that thought the 62 was was a little bit too high. And one of those areas was folks that like to, to roll joints. They just thought that the 62 was slightly too sticky to get the, the grind they wanted. And then for uh, just the joint, to, you know, to keep it burning properly. So we have a lot of joint smokers and pre-roll brands that love our 58% for that reason. Um, but, you know, again, the biggest is just personal preference. If you like it a little bit drier, 58. But 62 is our staple RH in Canada alone. Um, I, I don't know the exact number at this point, but, you know, last year it was about 90% of our Canadian customers preferred the 62% yep. over 58. Yep. It's got to be somewhere near that number this year, too. Um, but I think it's a great segue into, you know, Brian touched on, that there's a there's a a, a range a, a high limit at sixty point six five, and so that's great because we don't get the mold, you don't have uh, you don't run into those issues. But what happens if you go too dry? So on the flip side of that point six five, there's also a a bottom limit that you don't want to go below. And I think I'll let Brian to touch on it more. But the biggest issue with that is the terpene degradation. So. When that happens, when you go below that 0.55 water activity, you start losing terpenes at a much more rapid phase. And we've got some really cool testing that has been done at a third-party lab around terpene degradation. Uh, I'd love if Brian would just dive into that a little bit. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, it's um, once we started to understand, you know, it's a consumer preference, um, obviously below that 65 and 58, uh, we started to understand that, you know, not only just water is evaporating, something else is happening. Um, and it was actually kind of just voice from the con consumers, right? Customers are coming back and, and kind of highlighting what was occurring. And um, there were things that we were hearing that um, sometimes the terpenes, the smell wasn't there. And sometimes it was. And, um, you know, the texture was uh, was there. And then it wasn't there. And so, it, you know, from, from a scientist perspective, um, you hear those questions and it piques your curiosity. So you dig into it, right? You want to do some experience and you want to figure out why, what's going on. And Scott mentioned this, uh, the word model there, as we started to test and understand, uh, as you started to, uh, take your cannabis from 62% and you dropped it down, we were measuring and uh, understanding how many, how many terpenes were actually in the bud itself. And then also measuring the actual terpene smell and headspace of the containers. And as we started to get drier, drier down to 55, 53, or 54, um, uh, it was being evaporated faster. Uh, so anything below 55%, terpenes were accelerating at an evaporation rate that was phenomenal. Um, so we went back up into that range of 62 and 55, and we, we kind of focused in on that. And what we started to understand was this unique phenomenon of um, – this monolayer of water gets formed around the trichome head. Uh, and this is something that was uh, pretty widely known uh, in the coffee industry. Uh, so coffee beans, when they get roasted uh, during shipment over time, uh, if they weren't kept at a certain RH level, um, they were, the same thing was happening. The aromas of the coffee beans were being evaporated. And once we started to dig into that further, we got uh, in touch with uh, a great professor out of the U of M who um, researches a lot, um, really heavy detail, and and we both came to the conclusion the same thing is occurring. You're, that monolayer water is happening, and it's preventing evaporation between that uh, that range of 62 uh, down to that 55. So, yeah. 